first thing that we're going to do is to open Google and we are going to take a look at a real map of the city. In my case, I'm going to look for Cadiz because Cadiz is a city that I'm living in right now. And I go to maps. In this case, Cadiz is very interesting because it's an old historical city, so it has a lot of different landmarks. And what you're going to do is you're going to center it in the middle of the screen and zoom in. But over here, you can see that it's quite a long city and we're not going to use everything because the old historical part is the most interesting because of all the landmarks, the museums, and the parks, etc. So I'm going to use only the historical part. Uh, center it and make a screenshot. Open Illustrator and open a new file. So go to File, New, and I've chosen to use A4 size laying and press OK. And what you want to do now is go to File and Place. The last screenshot that you've made, place again. And you want to scale it down a bit. So I'm going to scale it down to this size. What you want to do then is to make sure that it's placed within layer one because you're going to create multiple layers afterwards. You have to be sure that everything is placed in one layer. In this case, layer one is the base layer. And from there on, we're going to add other things. You've added another layer by clicking on create new layer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to trace the whole city. At least for me, the part that I want to use. Um, it's very simple. Go to the pen tool. You can find it here in the left sidebar, or you can use shortcut P. And then it's just tracing roughly the city. It doesn't have to be perfect, and I just go about it quite easily. So it's quite square, but follow the points and click. You don't have to click and drag or anything, it's just clicking and see what happens. I think I'm going to go up until here because the new part of the city ends after this point. I go from there to there. Try to skip that part. And I close the shape. Over here you can see that we've created a new shape. Um, I've pressed shortcut V for the selection tool. And if I click next to it, I've deselected it again. But to select it, click on it and change the color to gray. Now you can see a bit better what you've done. Mm. And that's it for the first step.